I'm Niall Quinn. During my 20 year career, I played for Arsenal, Manchester City and Sunderland. I was honoured also to represent the Republic of Ireland 92 times, scoring 21 goals and played in two FIFA World Cups. Today, I've travelled to the United States, to Cary, North Carolina, to meet Denise O'Sullivan, linchpin of the Irish women's team, about to make their first ever World Cup finals appearance this summer. Denise, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Niall. Yeah, congratulations with everything to date, but obviously the qualification for the World Cup. You have our whole country back in Ireland, absolutely on tenterhoods. Can't wait for the whole thing to happen. Um, how does it feel for you? Um, it's almost surreal. Um, it's been a few months now since we qualified and I still have to pinch myself a bit about qualification. But yeah, it's just an honour. I think the country deserves this. The fans have stuck by us um, the past few years and it's a huge moment for all of us. And we're, we're really excited for the experience of you know, hitting our first major tournament um, against top teams in the world. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Just got to keep working hard towards it. And, and that hard work, it's so uh, it's so apt that you talk about that because it's it's your way, isn't it? That's the way you play. You were brought up to to work hard at the game, be uh, aware of everything that's going around you. And you're, what, what, I, what I like most about you is your ability to just want the ball no matter when you're being marked. It's the, it's the, it's the toughest strength to, to overcome, you know, when people are chomping at you trying to get the ball off you, but you're still looking for the ball. How, how did you perfect that? I think growing up, I um, started playing when I was six years old. I always had a ball at my feet. So I started playing with a boys team and I think that's where I got my confidence from and my bit of toughness. I know people say I'm very small, but I'm uh, aggressive. But I think that was coming from playing with my brothers and playing street football. I think that uh, technical ability to be able to get on the ball all the time, I think that's where I came from. And your job in midfield is to get on the ball. So um, you just have to be brave. And I think I am a brave player on the pitch, whether I make mistakes or not, I just keep trying to get on the ball and create whatever I can for the team. It's about time, of course, that uh, you know the, the women's game is recognised the way the way it is now in Ireland. Uh, you fought many battles on the way up, I'm sure. Um, your first Ireland cap you spoke about, it's a wonderful time, but it wasn't all simple playing for Ireland, was it? For many years that was difficult. I think the girls who came before us put in a lot of work to get us where we are. I think the FEI have done a fantastic job for us so far. And um, yeah, we've, we've really grown through that. And, um, I think getting that um, equal pay in 2017 was a breaking point for us and I think that pushed us on and I think the most important thing really is more young girls and boys are playing more than ever in Ireland and I think for me looking at those kids and seeing their faces when we qualified for the major tournament that's that's something very special and um, that's why we do it. Yeah because I, I look back I, I play you know we, we made the breakthrough and got to World Cup in 1990 I don't even think you were born there so I don't, I don't expect you to remember that but um, what, what drove us on for about four to six years afterwards was the, the exhilaration we got from the fans and the backing that they gave us. And that's obvious now, that's coming into play for you guys. Are, are you aware of that as a strength? Does that give you a bit of a worry? Oh my God, we have to do well, are we letting these people down? Or is it, are you out the door and say, hey, we know we're all in this together? Yeah, I think it's both. I think there is some pressure. I think going to the World War Cup, there's got to be some pressure. Um, it makes you push on and, and work even harder. But. Definitely those fans have really helped us out. Playing in Tala Stadium is absolutely phenomenal. And every time we've been there, it's, it, it feels like a full stadium. So to do it for them is, is very special. And to play that send off game against France and um, before the World Cup, it's, it's really exciting that we're giving that to the fans for them to, to send us off to one of the biggest um, moments in our lives. It's, it's a huge opportunity for myself, my family and the whole team and the country. So we're very excited. Yeah, and same here. And it goes without saying, you know, the whole country is behind you. Well, I'm honoured and no. I didn't think I would be sitting here with a, an iconic <laughs> ex-player like yourself. So no, the, the pleasure's it's all great mine. to meet you. No, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> the best of luck. Go for it and enjoy every minute. Thank you.